The State of Crypto is presented by Tron, connecting the world to the power of cryptocurrency. All right, let's check in with Coinesk Global Policy Regulation Managing Editor Nick Day, who is also the editor of Coinesk's The State of Crypto newsletter. Good morning, Nick. So we discussed earlier in the show, Sam Bankman fried spoke at the New York Times Dealbook Summit last night. What stood out to you and what next will we see happening on the regulation front in response? Hey, good morning. Yeah. Um, I mean, what's that? The fact that he was doing a media interview definitely stood out. Um, you know, we, and to his credit, Aaron Sork, uh, Andrew Sorkin, excuse me, uh, even asked about this. Uh, he asked, you know, what exactly Sam's lawyers have been telling him. And uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of attorneys seem, uh, you know, a little confused at the fact that he's doing so much press, despite the fact that his exchange, you know, kind of collapsed around him. The other thing that really stood out to me is he's trying really hard to, you know, I would say not really like directly take responsibility for what exactly happened. He's saying he's trying to, and you know, he's doing a lot. Uh, you know, saying a lot about how uh, it's his duty to explain what happened and to get people's money back, but he's not fully explaining what happened. And he's, you know, what role? Like, obviously, he doesn't have a role at FTX anymore. So I imagine, you know, from a regulatory perspective, investigators are going to be, you know, trying to figure out trying to parse through his public statements about how exactly the whole FTX Alameda, you know, commingling happened and B, um, who should have been in charge. You know, he seemed to, he seemed to be you know, throwing his colleagues at Alameda under the bus and implying that it was, you know, their decision that they led to this, you know, happening. But at the end of the day, he is, as he said, he was a CEO. He's also the you know majority owner of the company. So, um, you know, his connection and, you know, whether or not he was willfully ignoring his job to, you know, whatever it is he did, uh, I imagine that's going to get a lot of attention. Well, we also have the Senate Agriculture Committee's hearing on FTX today. What do you anticipate happening out of that? Yeah, so that's kicking off at 10 a.m. Eastern. So in uh, just under, you know, just over 15 minutes from now. Um I think the big thing is we're going to try and get a sense of what exactly FTX might have done in terms of, you know, its work with the CFTC. Uh, as of last night, at least, the only official confirmed speaker was CFTC Chairman Rustin Benham. So um, I don't know if we're going to hear from, for example, the new FTX CEO, John Ray III. I don't know if we're going to hear from any other, you know, expert witnesses or anyone. Um, so it does seem to, at least so far, be focused more on just you know, how much lobbying did FTX do? To what extent was FTX close to, uh, you know, getting its proposal to directly settle certain derivatives contracts through? And also, I imagine that Chairman Benham is going to want to talk about how Ledger X, one of the FTX subsidiaries, is not currently bankrupt. Um, you know, obviously, mm -hmm. he and other CFTC commissioners have gone out and said, hey, you know, regulations work. The companies that were under our direct, you know, remit uh, are fine. They're not insolvent. They're not in bankruptcy. They're can, you know, chugging along. Ledgerx is even announcing it's, you know, setting aside almost $200 billion to help the other bankrupt companies. Um, so I imagine mm -hmm. we're going to hear a little bit about that today as well. Yeah. Even in Sam's interview, he mentioned that he felt FTX US could open up again and make customers whole.